for the sixth year in a row, no smelt have been found in the San Joaquin Delta. We'll tell you why that's a big deal. Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Marley Gintner. Now that discovery is dialing up the discussion on the Delta Tunnel. CBS 13's Kayla Moeller is getting answers tonight on this story on the future of the project and the fish. Kayla. This is a really complex issue. Californians are in need of water all over the state. But with a project like the Delta Tunnel, environmentalists say that the 50 species of fish that live in the Delta are at risk, as well as the wildlife and the people who depend on those fish. I don't think it's going to make it the situations that we already have going any better. I think it's probably going to make it worse. For the sixth year in a row, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife have found no Delta smelt, a small endangered fish that's only found in the San Francisco estuary. My grandpa taught my dad how to fish on the Delta. I learned how to fish on the Delta. And the fact that we haven't seen smelt there in years shows uh, just how much work we have to do to protect the heritage of the Delta that has been so essential for these fish populations going back generations and the future for the Delta smelt population looks grim considering the Delta tunnel projects invasive construction. The fishermen I'm with today tell me that with a project like this, they're worried that there will be a lot more species than just the Delta smelt that they won't be able to find. Breeding is going to be off and our numbers of population are going to be way off. Um, I think it's going to affect the fish pretty heavily. Like we're already having problems with the salmon runs, so what's going to happen to the striper and the catfish, whatever else you might find out here, you know, the bass. But the threat of the tunnel project isn't only about fish. I understand that they need water, but I mean, so do we. We have farms and agriculture and all the same things. It doesn't make sense why they can take our water. This is about the livelihoods of all the folks that live around the fish. The California Department of Water Resources said in a statement to CBS 13, the project has been designed to minimize and avoid potential impacts to native fish and particularly listed salmonids and Delta smelt. The last thing that we should be doing is building a boondoggle project that doesn't create a single gallon of water for anyone across our state. All it does is move water. The young men that I went fishing with today told me that besides the fish, they've got big concerns over bird migration and waterfowl. They say they're worried that with less water in our region, the birds will be forced to go somewhere else.